hey guys, have you been to an amusement park like Disneyland or Six Flags and come off a ride all woozy and dizzy and stuff? Well, what if it lasted for months and you were just losing it and losing your zeal for life and, you know, things weren't looking good and then you started going to neurologists and uh, specialists and they couldn't help you? A bunch of specialist chiropractors couldn't help you? Would you come all the way from Chicago to see another chiropractor? Well, this guy did. Uh, I'm here because I've been experiencing uh, lightheadedness, dizziness. Uh, I get headaches too. This all started from uh, since September 3rd. Uh, I, I went to Six Flags and uh, after two weeks from, from Six Flags on September 3rd, uh, I started experiencing headaches. I thought it was stress, but it got worse and worse throughout the, the year and then it's developed to migraines. And finally around May, it was like a ticking time bomb and I got the lightheadedness for the first time ever in my life. I forgot about the car accident. Neurologist. ENT, e -E right? Uh, general practitioner. Yes. Uh, vestibular therapist. A vestibular therapist. He went yeah. to somebody directly responsible for taking care of his dizziness. Yeah. And so how'd that work out? I'm curious what they uh, do. He's the one that uh, diagnosed me with, uh, he calls it cerv cervical genic dizziness. Uh, basically it's Brilliant. like... Comes uh, from the neck. Yeah, it comes from the neck, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, first chiropractor was a sports chiropractor. Uh, they are known for adjusting the Blackhawks back in Chicago. Uh, what are the Blackhawks? Is that some kind of team or something? Yeah, the, the hockey team. <laughs> Sorry. It got to the point where after six adjustments, uh, they started causing more of an imbalance in my spine. So then I started getting more dizzy and uh, more high lightheadedness. I let them go and I went to a Gonstead. And then last one, you went to a five-star chiropractor, is what he says. So tell us yes. about that one. Yeah, this this one, the five-star chiropractor, a lot of great reviews. Yelp. I'd have to go every week, every single week, and then minimal improvement. Yeah, three months. Three yeah, months. so when's the last time you saw him? A week uh, ago, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. For some reason, it radiates on mostly the Just a couple tunnel guys going yeah. from the neck. Uh, headache, tell us about your head headache. Headaches, uh, I have them about three to, three to five times a week. And then you have migraines often? Uh, once a week. Like I'm in the dark, I, I could see the staticky sort of type vision. And then I also have a floaters, floaters. rainfall. Everything feels, there are days when it feels like it's a dream sort of feel to it. Like if I were to get in like an accident or something, I wouldn't really react as I should. And I'd have to sleep a lot to feel refreshed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you said it used to be six to seven hours and now it's eight to nine or 10 hours before yeah. you feel refreshed, right? Yeah, I thought pretty much I was full of it and they just prescribed me something called Lexapro or whatever. Yeah, antisocial, I thought that was interesting. Tell us about that. Uh, for me, I'm like, I, I guess I get, I get pretty anxious now mm -hmm. uh, ever since this happened. Uh, I'm kind of scared to go out. Uh, at least by myself at all because uh, you know I get that feeling that you know something might happen I might pass out between five to ten minutes I start feeling like I'm, I'm shaking like right now I'm shaking really bad internally at least I don't know if you can see it uh, but it gets to the point where I get lightheaded and I gotta stop and I can't keep the conversation going so you can see that what we work on here is deep it's not just superficial pain we're not into just you know uh, some neck pain or some low back pain we're into taking care of people please any pain in your back, tension in your back, sir? Uh, stiffness. Stiffness on a scale of 1 to 10, what is that? Uh, 3. 3, go back like this. How about that one? Uh, same thing, like a 3. Like a 3? Yeah. Okay, with your neck, look at the ground. How about that? Uh, stiff 4. 4, look at the ceiling. How about that? Uh, dizzy. He's dizzy, dizzy on that yeah. one, right? Yeah. How dizzy are you on a scale of 1 to 10? I'd say like a 5. A 5? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to squat to the ground. Now, don't squat quite yet. He doesn't have any back pain when he does this, but his knees and his ankles are really hurting. You look at his face when you're down there. Go ahead and go up. How much pain in your knees or ankles? Oh, that's like a six, seven. Yeah, and so come on up. Okay. And you can see him just really struggling with this. Stand up on your toes for five seconds. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> bad balance, yeah, right? It's really bad, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let this go. Be fine. Good, we have this relax here. Good. Whoa. <laughs> so tell us how that's different than all the other adjustments you've had. That was, that was more intense. That was, uh, there was a lot of noise, a lot of, a lot of stuff that got moved back there. A lot there. of stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, different than the other chiropractors, right? Yeah. That was cool. That was intense, <laughs> yeah. Good, 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 good. good.
A little nervous? Yeah, that, that got, the first one was intense, second yeah. one I just, oh man. So getting up after a cervical adjustment can be a little tricky when you have vertigo. So I wanted to help him up, of course, and tell him not to twist or turn. Let's see how he's doing. A little lightheaded. Okay, that's, that's to be expected, right? Okay. And I know you've been told this before, but in my office, that is to be expected. Yeah. Okay, and the reason why it's happening is because we're changing your balance centers. By changing your balance centers, it's just forcing your body to have better balance. Okay. okay. After the adjustment, recalibration is one of the most important things. Let's watch him walk and see how he's doing. Okay. What's going on, dude? Uh, a little lightheaded. A little lightheaded, yeah. huh? Still a little I like can see it. nervous, yeah. Yeah, nervous too. Yeah. You can see the emotion in his face. Yeah, why the emotion? I'm kind of curious. Uh, Is it because you're really dizzy? You're going to fall or because you're feeling different? What's it? Yeah, and the, the intensity of the adjustment. Yeah. I feel like it's like, I guess it's unwinding something. Yeah. I can't really explain it. I feel like lighter. Like, you do? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm like maybe I lost five pounds or something. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, they, it's just in and out with them. It's more like, a, you know, when can you come back, you know, and here he at least spends quality time with you, at least 20 minutes of time, you know, gets to know you more. And, um, you know, it, it kind of feels like you're getting cared for more, um, you know, not, not like you're being taken advantage of. That's how I feel that. Whoa, there's no stiffness. <laughs> there's God. <laughs> it's God. There's no stiffness. Yeah. That was a three before, no stiffness. Yeah, there's nothing. You go back like this. That was a three before also. Nothing. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I go more back too. That's cool, yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay. Can you look at the ground, please? That was a three. Nothing. Look at the ceiling. That was dizzy. You were a four out of 10 dizziness. How's your dizziness right now? Nothing, I could hold it. Remember a minute ago you said yeah. you were dizzy? And we did this like two or three times before the camera he was on. And every time you were dizzy. Yeah, I'm still holding it. That's that's cool. That's an awesome stuff. That's fair. Yeah. Because uh, you, you guys won't believe us. So watch this. Drum roll. <laughs> so cocky. Yo, that's loose. <laughs> that so is cocky. loose. He's so cocky. No, no. Yeah, he's so cocky. Hold on. There's no pain. Nothing. I, I'm loose. I'm, I'm not making this up. This is, I'm really, I know, right? I feel it's, loose. It's the truth. Yeah. Okay, let's do the last thing on your toes, please. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this face. Yo, this is what I came for. This is what I came for. I could hold it. It's awesome. What'd you come for? You Balance. Came? These improvements just on one day, it, it, I, I, I'm speechless. Yeah. yeah. What's this mean to you? Get your life back. Yeah, um, everything, you know, just, you know, try to get back and enjoy life like I used to, go back to the gym, you know, go and... I mean, you have, it's so bad, you have your family driving you to work every yeah. day. That yeah. must feel terrible. I mean, yeah. that, that bad. I used to even enjoy driving. He's been to a bunch of chiropractors that hurt him, and I want you to show, show you why the importance of taking x-rays and understanding what you're looking at. And uh, and so we don't you don't hurt somebody you actually help somebody taking a trip to the x-ray room Here's your x-rays. Okay, so this line right here the pink line is the center of mass in your body Okay, so you can see how your head is relative to the center of mass. It's 6.92 millimeters to the right <coughs> That's your right side right there Man. Okay, and so that's your first leverage point that creates the imbalance that you're here for because you're here for vertigo remember that yeah and so that uh, vertigo, that dizziness comes from this imbalance. You can also see this pink line right here. That pink line is also tilted like this. And so why is that important? The more it's tilted, the more it tells me how much pressure here is on your brainstem. So it's tilted quite a lot. Um, this line right here is your TMJ. And so if you look here, there's more space here and less space over here. So essentially your whole jaw is shifted this way. And so why is that important? Well, the more pressure you have on one side of the jaw, the more you tend to grind your teeth, the more you tend to clench your teeth, and that will give feedback to the neck. And so here is your left side right here. No, 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 here's your left side right here. Yeah. And so by grinding that side, it'll put pressure on your left side of your neck, okay? And so when we treat you, we're not just treating your neck, we have to treat all these components to make you healthy. Okay. Any questions about that? Okay. Is that why, like, I sometimes when I open my mouth to eat, I hear like clicking? Yeah, that's why you hear clicking and okay. popping. Okay. Yeah, but that clicking and popping is just a symptom of the problem. So, the re when it clicks and pops, it means there's some tension in there, and sometimes you, again, in your as you sleep, you bite down harder, you clench harder, and that'll throw you out while you're sleeping. Oh, okay. 
Okay? So you're asking me about when you're sleeping. It could be the pillow, but it also could be this tension. Okay, so here's your low back. The interesting thing about you is your left leg is shorter than your right leg. So your body leans to the right, yet your left leg is shorter. That doesn't happen very often. And so your symptom is that your body is leaning away from the short leg side. A low back shape is pretty darn good. Uh, no arthritis evident here. Um, all looks pretty good. Bones look healthy. Uh, spine looks healthy down here. Your neck should be shaped like this yellow line. So we all, we've seen plenty of opportunities to have reverse curves or kyphotic curves, meaning going the wrong way. This arrow points to where I focus my attention. This arrow points to something kind of interesting. <clears throat> If you can see here, see this black vert, black spot right here? Yeah. That's open. See how this black spot right here? It's open. There's no space between here. There is some space. But see, there's space up here too. But this is almost acting like they're fused together. I don't think they're fused. I keep looking at this over and over. Um, but there's definitely loss of disc space. It's almost to a point where they're fused together, meaning they don't move separately anymore. So this is not a normal joint right here. And so why is that important? Well, adjusted incorrectly, adjusted away from this, it's going to give you some issues. You have to adjust this a little differently. That's why you're getting better here, okay? okay? Now, because of this issue, you've had problems for so many years, you're just grinding away on this atlas. And so if you see this, you see how this atlas is, is flat down here? Yeah. You see how it's flat down here and this is not round. This should be round back here now. And it's all ground away down here. This bone wears out this bone and you hear that as sandpaper so when you move your head back and forth you hear a grinding like and that grinding is you wearing that bone on the one below like this now why is that important <clears throat> the more that bone gets shoved up into your skull the more the brain stem which fits right here gets pinched gets poked and so it just gets poked over and over and over which puts pressure on your brain stem which makes you feel terrible and that's again where that imbalance comes from and the vertigo comes from. But the big key here is this. This bone, these two bones should be separate and they're almost acting as one right now. Holy they just wow. are not separate. And so this is a very unusual presentation. Um, I'd like to take more x-rays in the future just to see what's going on, but it's really, really off. Let's take a look at a couple charts that'll help explain why taking x-rays are so important. So this is how your spine's supposed to look right here. See the curve? Yeah. And yours goes the opposite way and see how strong this atlas is, how down it is. Yours is all completely ground on the bottom. You'll be able to see that later. Um, but this is how the um, spine should look. When it's out of a line, it looks like this. And then if it's out of a line long enough, it creates arthritis, worse arthritis, worse arthritis. Okay. Uh, one more um, over here. Take a look at this one, Danny. Every nerve of the body goes to every organ of the body. So when I work on your spine, I'm not just working on pain. I'm working on making your body healthier. By opening up your body and make it more balanced, everything works better, and this is how this works. Okay. When you guys come up here, come here with an open mind, do what I freaking tell you, because you're only here for a short period of time. It's boot camp, baby. Come with an A attitude and come with a can-do attitude and get this stuff done because when you go home, it'll be even harder. So he hasn't been doing it, so I kicked his ass this morning. See, his eyes are all black and blue because I punched him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the number one thing I learned was posture, posture, posture. Good. Um, Those are three things, by the way, yeah. but all sound the same name. Yeah, posture, <laughs> posture, 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 posture. Okay, so uh, what weren't you doing? You weren't working on your posture the last couple days, right? Yeah, I was slagging off. As long as you're scratching your butt with good posture, see? This... Bad, <laughs> good posture, good. So again, it's just how you do it, guys. <laughs> Did you get that on camera, by the way? Good. So you can see me scratching? <laughs> good. Yeah. I haven't had headaches like I usually do. I, if anything, I had just a little head pressure yesterday. That's cool. about it. So. And what about the dizziness? Uh, dizziness dizziness is, is there still, but not as worse as it was before. Gotcha. So much better there? I'd say like a 30, 40%. Arm wrist, something. You know. Oh, yeah. That's gone. Yeah. How about the brain fog? Brain fog. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely more alert. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, yeah. Brain fog. Sleep is good. I wake up refreshed. How about the anxiety, depression, anything there different? Oh, yeah. Um, definitely. Um, before I had I had somebody go with me out, out and about. That's right. I, um, this, right. I feel more confident now to, you know, just go around and wander. So um, that's a plus. You change the vision? Uh, vision. Uh, it's still there, but not as bad. There's still a little a staticky sort of vision. To gotcha, it. gotcha, yeah. gotcha. How about ringing the ears daily, ringing. every day? Oh, by no, ear? no ringing. 
So you're saying we cured your tinnitus? Yes, gotcha. there's no ringing. Definitely, you know, because normally I'm mostly not self-conscious of posture. I try to be more aware of it. I try to, um, you know, if anything, reset myself. Mm -hmm. Take my time with it. Um, and yeah, you know, just follow your instructions and, you know, I'll see the, the results. Couldn't have said better myself. It's been the same adjustment right through the middle of the neck. Ooh. Okay.